Unbelievable. Nigerians have told Buhari we will be happy when you leave office next year. We can't wait as Buhari faces more turmoil from Nigerians. Hello, my wonderful people. The governor of Benue State, we all know him, Samuel Otom, seriously detests the attitude, actions of, uh, you know, uh, Buhari's administration in consideration, a man who does not regard or understand what is going on with the people and care less of what is happening. With all that his kinsmen are doing, the killings and everything going, he can't be bothered. And it's a shame, really, because when you look at it and you understand some of the secret things going on, you will know that Buhari really needs to go. How he has managed to stay long in the office despite all the inabilities and um, the Senate and House of Rep refused to impeach him is still very much a mystery. Nigerians have told Buhari will be very happy to see you leave. Please don't leave your representative home because we see that you are trying to endorse those who will come and continue your legacy, those who have been telling us that they will continue in what you have been doing. In fact, what you have done, we don't want to ever experience it again. You are a huge mistake. We never, I mean, we want to wake up from this nightmare. Okay, so we don't want a repeat of any of those things that have happened previously. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Thank you. Nigerians will be glad to see you leave office next year. The governor of Benue State tells Buhari. Benue State gov government on Friday stated that Nigerians will be too glad to see President Muhammadu Buhari leave office next year because they are tired of failed politicians, especially Buhari being the leader of such. The state government also advised the senior special assistant on media and publicity, Garuba Shew to limit himself to the countdown to the departure of his principal from office rather than engaging in issues where he has nothing positive to say or to contribute. Nigerians can't wait to deal with you when they meet you on the way, unless you are relocating out of this country. This form, they form part of the World Press Congress that, have addressed, that was addressed in Makodi, the state capital, by the Commission of Information and Culture, Tourism, Michael, in response to an earlier written credit to Malam Garuba Shewo in connection to Governor Samuel Utom in some section of the media. According to the information commissioner, Shewo had in a, in a said write-up classified Nigerian politicians under two categories. The first are politicians who are leaders that offer solution to the challenges facing voters and the country. The second set of politicians are those who offer excuses for the challenges to those who voted for them. Garuba Shewo, as private sense of judgment, said in a bid to earn his pay, the plea he placed President Muhammad Buhari in the first category and Samuel Utom in the second category. This placement of his has carried out a lot of criticism on him and Buhari's administration. While describing the colonization of the country by the Fulanese administration, Nigerians have told Buhari will be more than happy to see you leave. This is one nightmare we seriously want to wake up from and forget we ever had a dream like this. That's why the likes of those who have come to say we are going to continue the legacy Buhari has started have failed from the start. It is a failed mission. They need not to have said that to Nigerians who are going through a lot and can't wait for the days to be over. So we know that our very own brother, the like of Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinobu, has told Nigerians, I am going to continue with the legacy Buhari has started. And Nigerians are asking, uh, young man, what legacy are you talking about? You know, Tinobu said he's going to continue on the legacy and we are wondering, this is what is going on. You see people dying like flies here and there. You see things happening. You are telling us of legacy. Excuse me, what legacy exactly are we talking about here? Is it the legacy of the killings or the, the emergence of the full Anis who now feel that they are lords and can carry out any form of atrocities and know that they are protected and covered by this, this shameful administration? who has not done anything worthwhile for the people rather than criticize and try to cover up their failures and, ma and mask it on those who are speaking and saying the first duty of any government, you know, stipulated is protection of life and property. And anyone and everyone who speaks like, you know, like Onandi Kanu, Sunday Boho, 
are ostracized and put in, in custody to show to Nigerians that, you know, they are intimidating Nigerians and that nobody should speak? Is that the government you are talking about? A government who have no value for life, but rather value cows and have taken love to cows more than human being. A government who have not done anything that rather than in debt the nation. Do you know the debt that Buhari has incurred for the nation? Children yet are born will still pay that uh, will still pay those money. They will pay the money. So you just can you can imagine what will happen to the very next government that will be coming on. You know, if you imagine, just imagine. And that's why if, they, if if we don't have honest people who are sincere and have in the heart for the nation, Nigerians harder days are ahead. I'm I'm sorry to be like a prophet of doom, but it's just a clear, you know, from all indications. You know, when you carry out a science uh, project, they will say, from what has happened, can you infer what you think could possibly be going on with this reaction? Then you can say you can you can deduce based on some of the you know uh, things you have seen to say based on this smell, based on the way the coloration changed, based on this, based on that, based on the fact that it brought out a, a, a smell rather than a foam. It is this reagent. It was this. It was that. Based on what we are seeing, we don't want to repeat this day. So, uh, patience. Good luck, Ibele. Good Jonathan. Say if PK fake class, he not go repeat class. This one pass. So. we gave him. Let him go. We don't want to repeat such. Then you come to tell us Nigerians that um, there is a, we want to continue with the legacy. Which legacy? The legacy of killing or the legacy of putting Nigeria in a bad light? Which of the legacy exactly? Insecurity, worse than ever before. Why did Nigerians vote Buhari in the first place? Why did they not send good luck Ibele Jonathan away? They said he's an ex-military man. Oh, he understands the tenets of war. He's going to do this, he's going to do that. No, no, he's coming with, he was armed with an agenda. The full and new agenda to ensure that Nigerians was, Nigeria was Islamized. And also, he came on a revenge mission on everyone and anyone who has offended him before when he was a, a military leader. That was why the man, that was the premise on which the man came. And so when you think that the man has the heart for people, honestly speaking, you are the one deceiving yourself. You thought so. You are the one assuming. No other person is assuming with you. Just you thought so. So it is shameful, but it's a true situation of things on ground. Yes? Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a good day. Remember, you have a voice. Let no one push you down. We must speak out against wrongdoing in this administration. God bless you. Bye for now.